In Hellboy the board game you will play the role of an officer from the BRPD. You can play as Hellboy, John Cross, Liz Chairman or Abe Sapiens and you will try to solve inquiries. The scenarios are inside the envelopes that you are going to open, so you'll leave each scenario one after the other. Here's an example adventure. You will have to play the survey in two phases. The investigation phase during which players will try to collect clues on the boss. And then in confrontation phase, you will meet the boss and try to destroy him. So during the phase of investigation, you will try to clean the board and try to collect clues. Each investigator is represented by a figure on the board and has its own card, on which we will find skills and a number of injuries. And each investigator has start items and actions cubes that will allow us to carry out actions. During the investigation phase, players will be able to act freely. Each player can act freely by spending cubes in any order until all players have spent their cubes. There are basic actions like moving. When we spend a cube to move, we will be able to move to two areas. There is also the attack action. When I'm going to attack a monster, I will throw dice that correspond to my attack capacity. For example, here I have a red score, so I will throw red ones. At each roll of the dice, I will throw one of the blues, will modify my results. It is possible to increase or decrease the strength of the dice. When you go down in power, you will take dices more clearly. And when you increase your strength, you will check darker. And so you increase your chances of making more hits. So you make a roll on your total all keys, and you must reach a number shown on the monster card. Always with the blue dice, we will have a modifying effect. We can have additional hits, re-roll, or multiplayers, for example. You can also activate the special bonus, or get a failure that will remove your best score. Anyway, you must reach a certain threshold which is indicated on the monster cards to destroy it. When you damage an enemy, you can place tokens next to him and remove the figures once the enemy is destroyed. It's all for the actions of the heroes, but you also have actions that allow you to interact with objects, like with table, you can investigate or throw it to the enemy. When all the players have finished their actions, we will move on the next phase, which is a phase of rest. Players will be able to decide to rest or continue to play. If they decide to continue, we go directly to the next phase. If they decided to rest, they will be able to heal themselves by making a roll with two dice and remove one wound by it. When the board is full of wound, return it to get the penalties. And if the board is full of penalties, return the board. That means that the heroes is knocked out. When we rest, we will be able to transform the clues into knowledge that we will increase the gold. The larger the gold, the better because they will know more about the boss. In the rest phase, there are other actions, like movements or exchange between heroes. You also have the option to explore to reveal what is in adjacent squares. And that's all for the rest phase. Anyway, each time you rest, you will make advance the timer of disaster. And when you reach the marker, you come the final showdown and the boss is coming, whatever your level of investigation. So if you are not well prepared, the boss will be much stronger. Whatever the choice to rest or making action, we are now in the disaster phase. So you first draw a disaster card and you apply the effect, which is very often negative. Notice that all the cards, disaster, enemy, are predefined by the choice of the scenario. That reinforces the narrative and immersive effect of the game. Now it's time for the monsters to play. Monsters are represented by figures and their abilities are on cards, of course. For example, here we get a monstrous Batrakan. Watch who's gonna be attacked, we are gonna watch the priority track. Here it's Yuan Cross who has priority, he will be attacked. Yuan will be able to roll dice to defend himself. For each undefended injury, we will put one injury token on Yuan cards and you keep going until the final showdown. The final showdown comes when we reach the track on the disaster track or when we have sufficiently investigated. This way, we remove every item on the board and turn it over the HQ board. 
and we get the boss board. Now we get the boss behavior card and we turn the boss card and take the figure and put it on the board. The boss will be activated according to the card. To kill the boss, you will have to lower his health to zero. But if the boss knock out all the agents at the same time, you lose. Depending on the outcome of the confrontation, you will be able to read the conclusion won or lost. And that's it for the main rules. In conclusion, Hellboy is an investigation game where you have to get the most out of your character before the final showdown. It's up to you and it's time for me to say you have a good game, have a good play and goodbye. <laughs>